Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here at day two at the AIM Expo. Um, one of the coolest uh, helmet products that we've seen is the new Shoei VFX Evo. And uh, here to explain some of these new features to us is Mateus from Shoei. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Should I hold this? If you want to, please. Actually, why don't you hold this so I can show up the helmet. Sure, that makes sense. All right. So, first of all, it pays tribute to our VFX series. The VFXW is its predecessor, so it has a very iconic look to it. And immediately you can identify it as a very high-quality showy helmet. Uh, the shell design um, has a very streamlined, uniform shape all the way from the visor all the way to the back of the shell. So it has a very beautiful, aesthetically beautiful shell. Uh, the ventilation has also been improved. The front mouthpiece is one of the most iconic uh, and, and uh, visually uh, striking. striking characteristics thank you, that uh, help you identify this helmet. So very iconic looking. Uh, again, it's been enlarged to improve the ventilation. But another nice little feature is they added an AIM Plus shell brace behind here to help prevent any kind of penetration from like a handlebar or foot peg from actually entering this inside of the helmet right there. Um, but the big story is is our new MEDS system. MEDS is going to actually stand for Motion Energy Distribution System. And for the first time ever, a showy helmet actually has a rotational energy management system built into it. The difference is, is we construct ours completely out of EPS versus some of the other companies that may use uh, a different type of mechanism, a different type of construction. Uh, the reason why we chose EPS is because it's a very uh, efficient, lightweight material, and it does not uh, affect our safety performance. So this helmet will still meet the Snell requirements, um, and it also doesn't affect our ventilation performance, uh, and it doesn't affect the weight as well. So the helmet still stays very small, very lightweight, and very compact in design. So that is kind of the, the big shining star of the new VFX Evo. We're going to have a matte black version, a gloss black, and then we're going to have a few graphics available. Uh, I think there's going to be two graphics with seven different colorways, and then we're also going to have two replicas. We have a Malcolm Stewart replica with three colorways and a Josh Grant replica with three colorways as well. So it'll be a nice, vivid um, uh, display for everybody to kind of have. Great. And uh, the last question is, uh, are they currently available, and what's the price point? Not quite yet, actually. The uh, helmet will be here probably first week of December, and the price point on it is 539 MSRP. All right, now we're at the stand for Moto Nation. Uh, these guys carry a bunch of really great products. Um, one of the first things that we're going to look at is CD, uh, and we've got Paul from Moto Nation who's going to help us out with uh, some of the information on three great CD boots, uh, with some of them are redesigns and some of them are pretty much all new. Paul? Thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to start off with the Adventure 2 Gore-Tex. What we've done this year is we've added a suede, as you can see, a brown suede. I think one of the things you really like to see is that they actually still have the highlights of the black. The real exciting news, I believe, is this new boot here, which is called the Scrambler. It's brand new for 2018. Um, as you can see, it's using the uh, original strap system that CD brought into the United States back in early boy, early 60s, or late 60s, early 70s. Um, it's very easy to unlock and lock. It also, they've, the feature in this boot is it's actually using a waterproof liner as well. It is a, a European equivalent called a Tapor liner. Um, I think one of the features I like about the boot is it's actually using the pleated diamond shaped front, which not only looks good, it's actually functional. It uh, has, uh, will absorb shock in the boot and uh, it also is using the traditional uh, vibrant sole, which is great for people that are, you know, have the floorboards or um, you know, touring bikes as well as a scrambler models that are out there now. Uh, the next boot on the line up here is uh, actually an upgrade from our Trial Zero. It's a, the Trials boot, but with again the suede, brown suede, giving it a really neat uh, vintage texture look to it. All the same features that were used in the Trials boot in the past are used again in this boot here. The easy mechanism with the buckles, uh, again, the traditional heel cup that CD's been known for, great boot, excellent for every type of application, whether it be scrambles or, or trials use. And that'll cover this line. Sure, and uh, I've also heard that we've got uh, a really cool new helmet by VMAR, the Kona. Yes. Uh, and we're gonna walk over to that and take a look at that next. All right, now we're taking a look at the VMAR Kona helmet. 
Uh, and uh, Paul is going to give us a really quick walkthrough of some of its uh, new features. Great. Yeah, with the new Kona helmet, as you can see, it's addressing the adventure market, uh, which is probably the biggest growing portion of our industry right now. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay. So that being said, uh, uh, VMAR has introduced this year the new Kona helmet. As you can see, the different color combinations. Uh, I think one of the key features of this helmet is the drop-down. I call it a fighter shield, as a lack of term. What, what would you call it? Uh, I think they're sometimes called drop-down internal visors. Okay, drop-down internal visors. So that's what we're, that's got to be right. It's out of Adventure Moto, so it's got to be right. Um, I think the another key feature is it's how aggressive the, the helmet design is. Hand it over, and uh, as I said, you have your drop-down visor inside of it. Very lightweight. I think you'll agree. Um, and uh, it does have the retention for the, if you were to wear, want to wear goggles, you can have goggles put into the helmet. Um, if you flip it upside down, please, you'll notice the liner is a really high-end liner. Um, something that you rare, I don't think you'll ever see in this price range of a helmet. The multicolor or graphic helmet will retail for $149, whereas, pardon me, I'll show them the solid. And a solid would run $139. Still all the same features, uh, as you got to see, you, you, as you can see, this is really bright, so you're going to be seen out on the road. Still at the Moto Nation booth, uh, we're now going to take a look at some of the force field. Uh, this is the pro shirt. Uh, awesome stuff. Use it myself personally. Uh, and Paul has transformed into Matthew. Matthew is actually from force field in the UK, uh, and he's going to give us some of the talk and features about the new pro shirt. Okay, thank you. So here we've got the 2018 ProShirt XV. Now this is going to come in two versions. As you can see on the board here, we've got the XV1 and the XV2. The main difference being, you can spec this now with either CE Level 1 armor or CE Level 2 armor, depending on heat conditions, the type of motorcycle you're riding. Now the material itself is still a Be Cool fabric. Obviously it's changed from the gray now to the black color. We've increase the ventilation by around 35 percent and we've done that in the way of extra ventilation where you can see the armor pockets that includes the chest and also straight down where the CE level 2 back protector sits also. Now down the sides you might not be able to see too clearly but there's also extra venting all the way down the sides and under the arms also. So it comes as standard with a side zip which enables us to fit a level CE2 chest protector in there. All right, thanks very much, Matthew. Um, are these going to be available now or soon? We, early, in, early New Year, we hope. Early New Year. Early New Year. All right, and where would be the best place to find some information about it in the U.S.? You need to look at motonation.com or forcefieldbodyarmor.com. Awesome. Thanks very much, Matthew, and uh, have a good rest of the show. Thank you, I will. Hey, everyone. Also at some really exciting helmet news today, um, at Next Helmets, who we have with us is Helder. Helder is the CEO and founder of Next Helmets, and uh, he's going to explain to us some of the features of his newest dual sport helmet. Uh, Helder, please take it away. Okay, thank you. Uh, so this is the second generation of uh, our adventure uh, helmet. Uh, looking to the helmet, uh, you don't see that many difference, but when you wear it, it's completely different. It's completely a brand new helmet in terms of, um, of specs, uh, this helmet. In comfort, in stability, noise reduction, and mostly the, the ventilation. Nowadays, we have uh, more than double of the air inlet, the airflow. We change the ventilation. We have uh, top ventilation here. We change also the position of this ventilation. We change all the, the components inside the helmet to drive in a better way the, 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 the air inside the head. So you get much more fresh uh, air. And the second big, big change is the, the peak. With this new peak, you, you can, you have the sensor, but also you have nowadays, comparing with the XE1, you can adjust the position of the, the peak. Um, this new peak has, it has a, a big holes. Nowadays is much more stable uh, when you ride, st standing uh, mostly. 
uh, it drives in a better way uh, for the ventilation, the, the air. And in terms of uh, reduction of the noise, is, you, you can't compare. It's much, much, much better than the, the, the version. And then the comfort. The, all the lining was reformulated. So um, it's a brand new helmet with all the nice specs of the, the, the first generation, like the, the supports for the GoPro cameras, lateral uh, here also on the top you can you can put it uh, uh, the intercom also so we use all the good things of the XE1 and we improve in a better way what we felt that could uh, could be improved everything is uh, very easy to change remove the peak uh, remove the visor you can have the, the off-road version everything is very very easy but th this is uh, something that came already from uh, the XC1. That's awesome. Uh, it looks like you got a great set of features with some really wonderful updates. Uh, and we look forward to seeing more. Thanks very much, Elder. Thank you, thank you. All right, it's now still trucking around uh, the AIM Expo 2017. Um, hard to miss some of the great new rig gear that's targeted towards the adventure luggage market. Uh, ran into Rick. Rick is gonna tell us a little bit more about some of these awesome new bags. Rick. Thanks. So this year we introduced our new dry saddlebags that have done extremely well. A lot of features in them as far as holding their supports. We did away with all the plastic mounting buckles that seemed to break on Adventure Guys and replaced them with aluminum uh, uh, G-hooks, aluminum mounting system on the sides. They even come with this uh, liner for the inside so when you get to wherever you're going you just pull this out and take it with you. Our roll bags integrate in with the bags. They mount on top of ours or they'll mount on top of the, like a hard pannier, aluminum pannier and that type of product. But to complement our dry luggage, this year we've come out with our new 100% waterproof backpack. It's all tarpaulin material. It's all welded seam, so it's 100% waterproof. It's got nice, comfortable, thick backpack straps. It's got extra padding here in the back so that you get good ventilation when you're wearing it. You could take the straps, flip it over, and use this as a tail bag. You could mount it um, horizontally that way. So we've got extra loops where you could loop it through with your rock straps or your bungee cords to tie it down. But one of the nice things is that uh, on the inside, we've added a pocket so you could put a laptop or a, a, um, a tablet. When you use dry bags, a lot of, because they're waterproof, they're also airtight. So as you go to roll these up, they turn into kind of a big balloon. So what we've done is we've added this valve right here. So all you do is turn this a quarter turn, roll it down, it lets all the air out of the bag, close it back up, and now you got a watertight seal again. Uh, in the back of the bag, we've got an extra pocket here. So what that's gonna do is give you a pocket here so if you want to put a hydration bladder in here you can do that and take it with you as a as a hydration bag we've got built-in adjustable bungee on here so if you wanted to strap a jacket or something on the back of the backpack you could do that this is a removable pocket that's got standard molly so any molly system would mount to it we have a waterproof pocket here as well as a clear waterproof mat pocket on the inside so this bag is uh, coming is available in two sizes oh also we put oversized pockets on here so that you could put like a 30 liter fuel bottle or hydration bag uh, bottle. And this bag comes in two sizes. It comes in a 40 liter, which is this one. And then there's a little smaller model, which is a 20 liter, which is this one. The 20 liter retails at $119.95 and the 40 liter retails at $139.95. So for all the adventure riders that want to keep everything dry in their backpack, use it as a tail bag. We've got you covered. Awesome, and um, are these currently available? They will be available as of December. As of December, so just in time for Christmas? Just in time for Christmas. Great, and if someone wanted to find out more about these, what's a good place to go? Go to www.nelsonrig.com and we'll have all the information on there. That sounds great, Rick. Thanks for everything and good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much. All right.